In this video, we are going to be talking about common toxic foods and household hazards that your pet may consume and that you may unknowingly have in your house. The purpose of this video is to give you the knowledge you need to keep your pet out of the vet and safe at home. Chocolate continues to dominate the poison lists for mostly dogs and sometimes cats from both poison control and the ASPCA. Chocolate toxicity is due to theobromine and caffeine, and it can cause lots of problems. Uh, it can cause vomiting, diarrhea, increased thirst and urination, panting, restlessness, uh, seizures, heart problems, and it can actually be fatal at higher dosages. The number two toxicity we continue to see in pets, both in dogs and cats, is rat poison. It's very common actually because that poison is very attractive to dogs. Uh, it looks interesting, it tastes interesting, and they smell it and they find it. And you may have stuck it somewhere where you don't think that your pet can get to it, but somehow they often still do, or you don't even know that somebody's put it out and then your pet finds it. It's less common in cats because they're less attracted to the bait, but sometimes a cat can actually eat a mouse or a rat that has been poisoned and experience poisoning themselves as well. Rat poison uh, can either cause excessive bleeding because it interferes with clotting, blood clotting, or it can cause um, nervous system problems such as seizures, and it can be fatal if ingested by your cat or dog. A third common toxicity is xylitol poisoning. Xylitol is a sugar substitute that's used in sugar-free foods. It's common in gum, is a, long, uh, a common place for it to be, also in candies. Uh, it can also be in cake mixes, brownie mixes. Anything that is sugar-free could have xylitol in it. The problem is it is toxic, again, to dogs and cats can cause liver failure, vomiting, diarrhea, even small amounts can cause low blood sugar, uh, liver failure, or even death. If you suspect that your pet has accidentally ingested xylitol, don't try to get them to vomit. Call your veterinarian or the pet poison hotline immediately. And again, read the labels, keep everything stored safely. Another sneaky place where xylitol is, is in peanut butter, sugar-free peanut butter. So make sure that you are um, reading your labels and keeping all xylitol away from your pets. So another common toxicity that we are seeing in our pets are marijuana toxicity and recreational drug toxicity. Usually pets will get hold of brownies or edibles or pot butter, uh, but they can also develop toxicity from secondhand smoke, believe it or not. Signs of marijuana toxicity, uh, those can range from just glassy eyes to coma, to excessive vocalization, um, uncontrolled urination, seizures, lots of things that can happen. Anti-inflammatory medication is also on my list for top 10 toxicities. So anti-inflammatory medication, especially the pet form, um, carprofen, rimadyl, things like that, it's usually often formulated into delicious chews and tablets that dogs love to eat. The problem occurs when the dog loves the chews too much and eats a whole bottle because it's accidentally left out on a counter. So signs of anti-inflammatory uh, intoxication can range from vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, seizures, black tarry stools that indicates that there's been a bleed in the GI tract at some point. Antidepressants are also on the list of top 10 toxic substances that your pet may accidentally ingest. 
Uh, So keep those medications locked up and out of reach of children and pets. Your nightstand or your bathroom counter, not a great place to store those things. Store them out of the way. Also on my list are grapes and raisins. We humans love grapes and raisins. They're very tasty, uh, but dogs also remember really love sweets and raisins and grapes are sweet but deadly to dogs. Dogs that eat grapes or raisins, they can develop kidney failure that is severe enough to be fatal. Treatment depends on the size of the dog, how much they ate, Um, the timing, but again, if you're eating grapes or raisins, make sure they're not feeding them to your pets. Most household cleaners are safe, but some of them can be concentrated enough to cause problems. Uh, Usually the taste of a cleaner is enough to keep pets away from eating them, but sometimes, dogs will still lick things up. Laundry pods, everybody remembers the Tide Pod Challenge. Those can be deadly to pets. If a pet has bitten into a laundry pod uh, or they licked a laundry pod off the fur, their fur or the floor or wherever, um, it can cause vomiting, coughing, difficulty breathing, wheezing. So if your pet is exposed to a laundry pod, flush their mouth, Um, wash their fur off, uh, flush their eyes uh, if they've been exposed with copious amounts of water um, and you're going to want to call your vet. And then when you are using these household cleaners, make sure you are using them in a well-ventilated area and make sure that they are completely dry before you bring your pet back in. Because if you're using a floor cleaner, don't forget your pet will walk on that and then they'll lick their paws. So just little tweaks here can keep your pet safe. Also on my list of top 10 toxic uh, substances is still antifreeze. Antifreeze is what you put in your car to keep the fluids from freezing. It's a wonderful product, but it's often formulated and it's very sweet. The problem is it can cause acute and fatal kidney failure in both dogs and cats that drink it. So you want to make sure to clean up any spills. Uh, I, If you do have antifreeze that has spilled, I recommend pouring litter all over it and then scooping up the litter and then cleaning the spot. And also keep all of your antifreeze locked away, stored safely away from pets. There are a lot of plants out there that range in mildly toxic where they could just cause some salivation to severe toxicity. And it's important for you to know what plants you have in your house and in your yard, especially if you have a curious pet that likes to explore things with their mouth. Things like lilies, all types of lilies are toxic to both dogs and cats, but I really believe that if you have a cat, you should not have lilies in your house because they cause kidney failure. Oleander is a a shrub that flowers. Uh, It's very common in warm areas, but it can cause cardiac heart failure immediately and is extremely toxic to pets. Sago palms, uh, very beautiful, very ornamental, but they cause liver failure in both dogs and cats. So if you suspect your pet has chewed on or ingested one of your house plants, you guessed it, call your veterinarian immediately and you can go on the ASPCA website and get a complete list of toxic plants for dogs and cats so that you know what is safe to have at your house and what is not. If you suspect that your pet has been exposed to or eaten any of these toxic substances, it's important to get professional help as soon as possible. Don't wait. Call your local veterinarian, call the emergency clinic, or call the Pet Poison Hotline at 1-855-764-7661. It's also really helpful to, if you know how much they ate, Uh, or when they ate it, that is important information for your veterinarian. It's also helpful to take a picture of the packaging uh, with the ingredients 
and the brand name or bring that with you because all of that is information that your veterinarian can use to help treat your pet.